Hey, hey, uh, so um, before we begin, quickly jump down into the comments and let me know what you think Vladimir Putin's fasona would be. And if you guys stay to the end, I'll let you know what I think his fasona would be. And, you know, whether I think he should get a fursuit of it, because, you know, it, it's, it's Vladimir Putin. Can you imagine him as a furry? my most excellent dudes and welcome to today's very special episode and if you can't tell by the thumbnail we will be looking at Russian fursuit makers today um, and I'd like to give a massive shout out to my mate Matthew for helping me out with this he is a Russian furry he helps organize the Moscow fur meets and their furry walks he's the one who's been having trouble with that dickhead Zygonov uh, he helped me a lot by giving me link to all the Russian fursuit makers out there so a massive shout out to him thank you so much for all your help in this dude and in case any of you find people are wondering who made my fursuit this was made by conifers creations there is a link below go check them out so without further ado let's jump in on my top five russian fursuit makers um and this was a tough one because there was a lot of very fine fursuit makers in russia i was quite surprised because i didn't realize there was such a furry presence in the russian federation i thought it was one of those things that had been stamped out by putin but no there's furries all over the place and a lot of fursuit makers uh, so I couldn't just pick five, I had to go with six because there was just so many fine choices. And coming in at number six is this most excellent maker, Crafts Fur Raptors. And these dudes really blew my mind with their creations. I mean, look at this most excellent uh, realistic Doberman. Um, they really, really nailed the design on this one. It looks, it looks almost spot on, it looks absolutely stunning. I am a bit concerned about the size of the eye holes and the positioning. It does look like it would have quite restricted uh, field of vision, but maybe I'm just being spoiled by my Toonie fursuit from Conifer's creation. And they can actually do Toonie fursuits. I mean, check out this circle. I have to admit, this is the first time I've seen a Toonie circle, and I think they really nailed it with this. And then they smashed out the ballpark with this most excellent T-Rex skull, which could make a really, really cool, like, T-Rex skull dog hybrid or something like that or just wear it on its own it looks awesome now it did take a bit of digging because i don't speak russian myself um but i worked out that their partial start at about 800 dollars and their full suits start at 1200 dollars. now you compare that to western fursuit maker prices that is a steal for the quality you're getting so yeah that is crafts fur raptors in at number six on my top six list of fursuit makers from russia now, coming in at number five is this maker, the Marcona Project. And these really, th these are some stunning realistic fursuits. I mean, look at this dragon. Look at this outstanding work that went into this uh, realistic dragon. I absolutely love everything about this. I love the scales. I love the overall build. It looks stunning. And then they made this most excellent realistic circle, which front on looks absolutely awesome. This is some amazing work. I, I love it to bits. The only concern is from the side view, I'm a bit concerned about that jawline. It, it looks a bit rough, but that might just be the photos. I can't tell. I'd have to see it in person. But what really caught my attention, what really, really sold this maker for me, is this realistic Haku. I mean, look at that. OMFG, look at that fursuit. Look at that stunning work that's gone into it. The whiskers, the built, everything about it. It's, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you recognize who this is and I absolutely love it. It's amazing. Now I have to admit, I have no idea how much they charge for their fursuits. I looked up and down their website. I could not find it. Like I said, I don't speak Russian. So, you know, navigating Russian websites was a bit awkward for me, but whatever it is they charge, I bet they're worth it. So yeah, that was the Marcona project coming in at number five. Now coming in at number four on my list of fursuit makers from Russia that I really love is Arvin's Lair. And I have to say, this is a most excellent maker with such a cute style. This is adorable. I absolutely love how cute this fursuit maker is. They just check this out. Look at this. Look at how cute this fursuit is. Look at that adorable heckin' smile. Look at that. And then there's this absolutely stunning little fox so that looks amazing i am really in love with this fursuit maker i'm so tempted to commission them myself 
And they made this stunning tiger now. If anyone knows anything about fursuit, making a tiger with this many stripes, that amount of sewing, if they didn't airbrush the stripes on, that kind of sewing could kill a person. And they've gone ham, made a full suit of that. That is absolutely, that is so impressive. That is epic, dude. Now, their website advertises that you can have LED lights in them, moving jaws, and a cute little fan in there to keep you cool. So they come with all of the mod cons. Their fursuits start at $1,600 for partial, and I believe it's $2,600 for a full suit. So go check them out. That is Arvin's Layer Steel in the number four slot. So coming in at number three on my list of fursuit makers from Russia is a fursuit maker called Schaff. And you will not believe how many times it took me to figure out how to say that. And they have a most excellent cute toony style. It is absolutely adorable. Their use of colors and their cute expressive faces are really, really adorable. I mean, these are some excellent fursuits. They have such great expression on these fursuits and they are not afraid to go and use some wild ass colors when making them. Uh, now, I do have to admit some of the expressions, especially this fursuit, do kind of remind me of the Western maker Lemon Brat. But obviously for a fraction of the cost because these fursuits are starting at just $900 for partial or $1,600 for full suit now if you know lemon brats prices that is less than half the price and I honestly think the quality is roughly about the same they look about on par with lemon brat in my opinion now coming in at number two and I know this is Matthew's favorite is a studio called furry studio and these guys these really were a close call these almost got first but I do think they were just pipped in at the end. But they do some excellent work. I mean, look at these cute expressive faces. The attention to detail. But most especially, I really love their birds. I love the beaks. The beaks look so smooth and colourful. I mean, these are excellent fursuits. And their use of colours. These fursuits are so bright and absolutely epic. I love them to bits. Now, as I understand it, their partials start at $1,200 and their full suits come in at a modest $2,400. So you're not going to break the bank getting a fursuit from this maker. But I say their quality is on par with a good 90% of Western makers. These are some most excellent fursuits and you could not go wrong buying from them. Okay, so before we go on to my top pick for Russian fursuit makers, I do just want to quickly thank everyone who supported me, gave me well wishing with my recent uh, bout with COVID. I am now getting over it. I'm feeling a lot better now, but there was a little while where I was just dead to the world. I was just sleeping. So thank you very much. Um, if you guys want to come and hang out on my Discord server, link is in the description below. Some most excellent people there. Also, you will be seeing the names of my Patreon supporters here. These guys are supporting me through everything. These guys make these uh, videos possible. So please, visit my Patreon, visit my Discord, come hang out with the guys. And as promised, what do I think Putin's persona would be? Well, it is a tough one. I mean, a lot of people would be screaming bear at the screen right now, and th that is a legitimate choice. I mean, we all know about how Russians are with their bears, but personally, I think Putin would be a lynx. And why do I think that? Well, he's big and fierce and grumpy on the outside, but I think he's got a cute fluffy underbelly somewhere. So I think Putin is a fluffy, adorable lynx. I mean, he could be a house cat for all we know. Can you imagine him as a house cat? I mean, yeah, maybe house cat, but probably lynx. And now for my top pick, my number one, my favorite fursuit maker from Russia, and that is Firefly Studio. These are some most excellent fursuits. They are cute, they are super adorable. The colors are epic, and that floof, look at that floof, look at, Look at how floofy they made these fursuits. It's, it should be illegal how floofy they are. I mean, check out the ear tips on this. I love the ear tips on this fursuit. I think it is absolutely adorable and stunning work. I mean, I have to say, the, these this fursuit just blew my mind. The cute, adorable expression is, ah, uh, it's, these fursuits are e easily on par with any Western maker, in my opinion. Uh, but a fraction of the price, because when you consider these partials start at only $2,500, I mean, think about what you're getting for that. Compared to how much you get charged from an American maker or a British maker, it is, these are absolutely stunning. So yeah, my number one pick for Russian fursuit makers, and if you're looking for fursuit maker, I highly recommend these people, is Firefly Studio. Now, if you enjoyed this video want to see more, please drop a like, subscribe, all that good YouTuber stuff. 
drop in the comments below your opinion on any fursuit maker you you want me to have a look at. If you want me to have a look at your country's fursuit makers, let me know. Um, also, I will be linking to all of the fursuit makers that my good buddy Matthew linked me to, not just those featured in this video, because I want you guys to go check them all out. There were some crackers that I couldn't include on the list just because there were so many quality makers, so go check them all out. Other than that, you guys have a most excellent day, an amazing weekend, and I will see you guys in the next video, okay? Take care, ta -ra.